Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. Hit the share button because the message is more important than the messenger. So here's the deal, y'all. Um, the Western uh, sister, and I'm not even saying every black woman born in the West, unlike what some women think I'm saying, but you know, we generalize because we have to. But the Western sister, Sapphire um, makes a hypocritical argument about uh, nature. Actually, a bunch of them. Everything she says about nature is hypocritical. And that's pretty much without exception. Number one, what she says about nature is if it's polygyny, then she doesn't argue uh, in favor of it. What she says about um, nature is that it means you should provide and you should protect. You should go uh, and um, uh, check out every noise downstairs. You should pay every bill, even if she has her own money. And ironically, that's actually that last statement is an Islamic stance, but it comes with obeisance. Obedience. It comes with that. So, um... And then again, they don't want to argue for nature when it comes to that, when it comes to you needing to obey. Oh, wait, that? Oh, oh, absolutely not. No, we don't do that. No, we don't obey anything. We're not here for that. So what I wanted you to understand about their arguments regarding nature and even tradition are consistently against you even more often than they are for herself. That I wanted you to realize and never forget. The Western sister is dead set against uh, your convenience. She is not dead set against anything other than your convenience. Remember that. It's your convenience um, that trumps all other offenses. That's why she would deny the box even when she wants the junk. That's why she will um, go against polygyny. But then if it's inconvenient for you and she got a homegirl that's ugly and broke and just needs someone to take care of her, she wants you to, you know, maybe marry her homegirl if she if she knows that you ain't going to get none out of that. Maybe then. Or maybe just, you know, break her homegirl off something in exchange for nothing. Whatever's inconvenient to you actually trumps her own convenience. And they use arguments for or against nature based on that. You will notice that nature is the reason why, it's always the reason why you should not have what you want and you should suffer what you don't. It is never the reason why you should have what you want and not suffer what you don't. It's never that. It is so predictable at this point. So predictable at this point. That in all honesty. I would fear. For any young man. In middle school now. Thinking yeah man I'm old enough. Let me learn to holler at these, these chicks. Let me learn. And then later on it becomes let me learn to holler at these hoes. I would fear for any young man in those situations because frankly, in those situations, because frankly, they're already wired and socialized. It just has to be against you. When you get down to it, they actually don't have any other way uh, to orient themselves. Sometimes they don't know how else to relate to you, which is part of why it is that when they like you, when they have a crush on you, they hit you. I've heard of white chicks doing that before. I had a Latin American. I was at a summer camp, middle school. A Colombian chick was doing that to me. Always me. She insulted my mother. I didn't think she liked me. I thought she hated me, and I didn't know what the hell I'd done. And it was white folks that told me that means she likes you. I was like, oh, well, that's not the way to show it. You don't call my mom naked. 
You don't say something about my mom walks around constantly naked all the time. That's not how we do that. That's why I insulted her. Called her a drug head. I wouldn't call her a cocaine head because she's Colombian. I called her that because she's crazy. But you still need to apologize, I know, right? Later on, she was crying, throwing stuff at me again because of what I said. And I told all the other Colombians, do not come in my face about what I said. This is why I called to that. I wasn't thinking about any stereotypes. I didn't have time to because in my community, we don't associate uh, drugs with you. This is why I called to that. She's insane. She did this and that was why I insulted her and now she's doing the same thing again after I apologized when I shouldn't have. And this conversation was in Spanish. But nature is always the reason why it is. It's always nature used to justify you suffering and then after that, their convenience. It never goes both ways with them. This is the height of hypocrisy. You would think that they are not another gender of our species, but that they are another species from another planet posing as a gender of our species just to ruin things for us. I don't think they are. That's how they're behaving, as if they think that. But it's a war. And I wish it wasn't, but as I stated before, this is how you can tell it's a war. Sea Boogie said it and didn't realize what he was telling us. Crimson Cure told us that they prioritize your suffering and inconvenience even over their convenience. That she told us that it is more important for you to suffer than it is for them to enjoy. She stated that. And deception is an element of war. War is deception. And the thing is, the only reason that many men are angry, upset, and frustrated is not because of the choices they made honestly as their own choices. It is because of the deception involved in these choices and the lies so that they don't have to deal with the consequences of their choices. The reason why many of us are upset and that there is a manosphere is ironically enough the same reason that you know it's a war. It's the deception. Never listen to them and never let them use nature as an argument again until they first use it as an argument for something they find inconvenient and convenient for you. If nature can't justify polygyny for you, then it cannot justify you have to get up and provide and you have to get up and protect. That is another thing, gentlemen. If they abuse your protection, they're trying to get rid of you. I want you to remember that too. If they um, are starting fights and you gotta protect, she's trying to get you killed. And also, if you've lived safe and nobody's ever broken in to where y'all lived before, never, ever, ever, and then one night you hear something fall down downstairs and she's quickly nudging you, hurry up and get downstairs, hurry up. Before you even have time to fully wake up and realize you're not dreaming, she's trying to get you killed. She set that up. Because, and I say this not because she doesn't have a right to feel afraid if it's if it's genuine and there's really a danger and she did not set that up. I'm not saying it for that reason. I'm saying that because there are no blind coincidences like that. It doesn't work that way. And the way that those Western hyenas are is that you owe it to them to get out there and die. Or go to jail. You have to remember that. You are a black man. What they want from you is that you either die behind them or you get buried alive 
on a cell block. That is the end result of dealing with them. And that also goes for when they are the Huxtables. Same thing. When they're done with you, and they inevitably will be, because you're still a black man and you're not their first choice, which I've come to realize, no matter your complexion. They just have preferences that they use to play against each other, both sides against the middle, really. But no, they're not, you're not, we're, not, we're not their first choice. And you have to understand that. And therefore, when they get tired of you, and they will, they want you out the way. But if they leave you, which they have every right to do, socially, at least, for whatever reason, some of them still say, I'd rather not do that, so let me just get rid of them. And if you think about that, why would they prefer for you death over you being single? What's the reason for that? Hatred, because it's war. And that's why nature is never an argument in your favor. And that's why in their mind, nature never is a reason for you to not suffer and to enjoy something. It is always a reason for you to not enjoy anything and suffer everything. I hope that this has helped you to understand further their hypocrisy. Thank you for listening again. As always, black heart, black mind, black out, assalamu alaikum, black heterosexual, non-select male power because they don't like it. Black patriarch until extinction of judgment day. And uh, before you exit the jet black aircraft, please punch the cash out button. Uh, this time for Brother Hayes as well, if you got it. And please do not enter in any amounts that you will miss later on. Only the small ones, because the notifications are really my uh, inspiration and my addiction. Thank you again for flying on Jet Black Airways, where Jet Black is also a verb. Keep Jet Black with us until the wings and the wheels fall off this mother cuss word. Gender justice forever.